my name is Alex Cecilio, and today I'm going to show you how to make wings in Illustrator. So the first thing you're going to do is go to your paintbrush, which is right next to your pencil tool. And then once you've selected it, um, you'll know because you'll have this little paintbrush with an X. So then you're going to go up to this little panel next to your style, and down on the left you're going to click this little button and you're going to go to Decorative, an Elegant Curl and Floral Brush Set. And this little window is going to pop up. Now this is just one way to do it. Um, there, I'll show you two ways to do it. Um, but this is the quickest way to go ahead and find, first of all, figure out what kind of wings you want because there are several kinds there. You know, there are bat wings, dragon wings, angel wings, bird wings, the list goes on. So you can go ahead and start by doing something like that. If you're, so this, I would say this is kind of like a bird wing or like a tail feather. So if you really want to mess around with the shape of it, you can go up to this window here and click that and play around with your shape options. So you'll get different shapes for, you know, uh, what you've drawn. And so, you know, like I said, you can just go ahead and play around with that. and. You can also select what you've made and try different pattern, try different uh, brushes, because you might find one that looks a little better to, according to what you've drawn and what you want. Um, and I do recommend using that for if you're doing a bird or if you're doing some kind of serpent or something like that that has really strange wings. But suppose you're not doing that, um, another way you can do it is just to go ahead and go at, select the original brush you had and just um, when you're drawing wings, one thing to keep in mind is that if you're drawing, I'm going to draw an angel, angel wings. So bird and angel wings have a similarity where they have this curve, kind of like this. And it doesn't always go like that. Sometimes it'll be like this. And it's usually there's like a, wings are kind of like long fingers. If you're, you, if you're doing some kind of like um, reptilian wing or bat wing. So I, sh I said I was going to do bird, but actually it's easier to explain um, if I start off with doing a bat wing or a, a dragon wing, because if you think of it as like a long hand with fingers, it'll be a lot easier to draw. Now, knowing that, if you go back and use the same, the same shape and just do something like this instead, you'll still have the same effect. It's, it's just all about where you put your, your feathers. So something that you can keep in mind is feathers are a lot like scales in the way that they layer over each other. So if you just continue to layer and layer and layer these little shapes over each other eventually, you'll get something, you know, this isn't the best, but You'll want something that's kind of like that. And wings can be tricky if you don't know how to draw feathers, so I would definitely recommend looking up feathers and, you know, if you can, find one, touch it, see what, you know, texture it has. Um, and then if you want to draw like a feather coming off of it, you can do something like that. And there you have your wings. My name is Alex, and this is how you draw wings in Illustrator. Thank you.